Oh, do we have some stuff to talk about today? Oh, EA Sports, what is wrong with this company? What are they doing? All right, let's talk about it. So Kurt0411, or as most people know him as just Kurt, has been suspended from all EA Sports FIFA 20 Global Series events or future, sh future scheduled competitions. So basically, he's been sus suspended indefinitely. Um, now, it just says... Uh, FIFA 20 global series or future schedule competitions. Therefore, that could mean it could mean that he's banned just for FIFA 20. It could mean that he's banned for FIFA 21, FIFA 22. Like they could literally do whatever they want here. And I don't think this is the right decision from EA. Uh, we're going to go over the statement anyway and talk about it. And I'm going to give my thoughts on it. You guys liked when I gave my thoughts on the um, NA sniping situation with Run the Foot Market. So I thought I'd give my thoughts on this as well. Now it says, the integrity of the EA Sports Global Series is very important to us as we deeply value respectful, uh, professional and inclusive competition. These characteristics help maintain a healthy community brought together through competition. The EA Sports Global Series official rules and code of conduct help us uh, cultivate positive play. And we are diligent in ensuring, I'm sorry, by the way, I'm terrible at reading. <laughs> we are diligent in ensuring that our competitors hold themselves to a high behavior standard. Uh, when we learn a competitor is potentially in code of conduct via code of conduct violation, we take our responsibility seriously to investigate and take action when appropriate. In many circumstances, uh, we believe in second chances, striving to be fair and to give competitors uh, warnings and suspensions before advancing to a more drastic action. In this case, we are sharing that Kurt0411 is disqualified for repeated eSports FIFA Global Series code of conduct policy violations. Kurt can no longer compete in any uh, sorry compete in or attend any EA Sports FIFA 20 Global Series events or future scheduled competition. Kurt received a two month and five qualifier suspension on October 18th, 2018, for an inappropriate video posted online. Next, on March 25th, 2019, Kurt received a quote unquote final warning for new code of conduct violations. We shared that at the time that if the policy, uh, sorry, if the policy violations continued, our actions would escalate. After the vulgar videos posted on October 10th, 2019, and October 19th, 2019, we disqualified Kurt. Kurt had many chances, and we were explicit that each subsequent violation would result in escalated penalties. The above violations go beyond acceptable "quote unquote" smack talk. As a consistent harassment targeting fellow competitors, EA employees, and previous on-air talent during the live broadcasts are unacceptable. Essentially, Kurt has been banned for attacking people online. Now, EA are saying that they want to uphold the integrity of their community and of their pro scene. Kind of a little bit hypocritical, considering you don't even pay them fairly when they win at events or come in the top 10 in events. I don't think it's fair to say that you are trying to uphold this above standard community when if you come 8th, ninth, or 10th in the world in a competition... You get seven hundred and fifty dollars, seven hundred and fifty dollars for for being eighth in the world at a competition, and and further but down, it's even less than that. I don't understand how it's fair for EA to say that they're trying to uphold this high standard of integrity for their global series when they can't even fairly pay their players or treat them with enough respect to help them put food on the table whilst they're competing in EA Sports events. That, to me, sounds incredibly hypocritical from EA. Don't get it wrong. I understand Kurt is overly outspoken. I understand Kurt is... <laughs> I don't think vulgar is the word. I think very disrespectful is a better, um, better way to describe Kurt. I think Kurt really has the best intentions for FIFA. I think that he truly, truly... Not only does he believe in fifa but he really he knows what he's talking about and he knows what's best for the game but he definitely definitely doesn't convey or portray what needs to be portrayed when talking about it he doesn't put his point across in the right way at all and i think that that's him trying to build a personality i don't think that the real kurt would go around insulting people um and i think that it's more of a personality and EA have done nothing but try and suppress this personality. If we go to UFC, for example, and take Conor McGregor, Conor McGregor joined UFC as one of the best fighters in the world. 
He knew he was one of the best fighters in the world. He started proving he was one of the best fighters in the world. And, and the smack talk came with it. He was insulting people all over the shop. And I think that's what Kurt has tried to do in the FIFA scene. Um, and to be honest, with how mundane professional FIFA really is, uh, because the game itself is very mundane and boring, I think we needed something like this. And the fact that EA have done nothing but suppress it, and the fact that EA have done nothing but suspend him, ban him, um, remove his right to an opinion, I think that it's completely unfair. And it not only is that, I think it's really destroying their esport. If we look at different esports, there are so many massive personalities in different esports. There are so many clashes, rivalries, and I think that it adds to a... a, a cultivating experience uh, it's, uh, like it's immersive to see uh, rival teams play against each other or rival players play against each other the smack talk that happens beforehand the intensity in the game it makes it a lot more fun and without rewards fifa really doesn't get watched as an esport it, unless ea offer free packs for rewards or uh, they offer drops ea sports does not get a lot of viewership numbers on twitch uh when they when they're doing their global series events and I think that someone like Kurt and, and other big personalities really could um, add to the eSport. But instead, he's being suppressed and suspended for his opinions. Now, don't get me wrong. He, sh he doesn't have the right to go around insulting people. I've actually been insulted by Kurt publicly. Um, I said something that I, I, I think I said something like I didn't enjoy the defending on FIFA 20 very early in the game. And he quoted it calling me an absolute clown. Don't get me wrong. I understand what it's like firsthand to be insulted by Kurt and have thousands of people insult me because of it. However, I, I wouldn't want him banned for it. You know, like the personality is, is huge in the community. And it's, 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 in my opinion, necessary to have someone like this. And I think it's, like I said, very hypocritical for EA to offer such little prize money and treat their pros with such little respect in terms of apparently are they not worth more money like for a lightning round joint team of the year last year ea were making well over a million dollars per lightning round when they sold out and for ea not even to offer 150 grand for prize money in these events when they're making nets profits of millions and millions and millions of dollars per lightning round that to me seems like a massive show of disrespect from ea to the pros it then doesn't seem right to me that ea will then suspend kurt for showing disrespect to the event and the pros that in my opinion is why i think it's really stupid now if kurt was going off on one and it was a perfect esport and uh, ea did everything right they they made uh immersive events um they organized the events very well i would totally understand and i would be like yep yeah, kurt is out of order here but that isn't the case at all not even close in fact it's the complete opposite because EA don't run the events well. They don't plan them well. And and Kurt's opinions, although can be quite over the top and, and I guess out there is the best way to say it, they, they weren't exactly wrong. So not only did they ban Kurt, they also banned NYC Chris or uh, Diddy Chris Lito, as you guys may know him better as. Um, now, this was to do with encouraging players to snipe people. He got a two qualifier suspension. So this man encouraged people to cheat your system. And don't get me wrong. Don't do not mistake this, okay? I don't I don't actually want Diddy Cristalito to be banned. I actually think that he's actually a nice guy um and a good player. I don't want him to be banned. But I think that it's so so hypocritical for him to get a two qualifier suspension ban when Kurt's first ever suspension was a five qualifier suspension for posting a video and, and literally the reason why he got the suspension was because he called out a couple youtubers and uh he said that ea only only got girls for the game changer program or something like that he got like that that verbal insults that to be honest were, were quite soft the first ones at least and i know he's he's had repeated uh insults where they've been harsher and and, and meaner uh but his first insults that actually got suspensions were in my opinion quite soft and he got a five qualified suspension whereas diddy cosito has had a two qualified suspension for literally cheating and encouraging people to cheat look all right i don't want to get into the ins and outs and te technicals of of who deserves suspensions and whatever but i think that it's really really stupid this is a dumb decision by ea in my opinion um, it's going to give them a lot of backlash. Uh, it's taking someone out of the pro scene that, in my opinion, 
was very very good i think i think the best way to say he was he was a great personality to have in a pro scene you want someone like kurt you want someone to, st to stir up drama to 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 provide controversy you really do in a, in a in a pro scene you really do especially one as mundane as fifa i think that uh it was definitely a poor decision from ea and one that hopefully they learn from because i would much prefer to watch an ea sports event where kurt was playing against someone that he had drama with than watching two people that literally are just sitting there playing drop back one depth against each other, providing no sort of personality to the gameplay. That is what I would prefer. I think that EA Sports, sorry, EA as an esports needs a lot of progression and this is a step backwards. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, I think a lot of people are tweeting free care. I don't think, I don't think even if it trends that anything will happen from that, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would get it if he was just completely slandering the game. But FIFA is not in a good way. FIFA is, hasn't been in a good way for a long time. The game, the game itself, and the gameplay is in a an awful state. The servers are, are in a categorically awful state. Uh, literally, all they care about is menu content and making money. So for them to ban someone for literally talking about that mainly, and I know it's mainly the personal insults. And don't get me wrong, I, I bet Kurt's been advised a lot to to tone down the personal insults. I bet that he was he was told beforehand. Don't do this, otherwise you're going to get some kind of suspension. And he probably should have listened. And that was really stupid on his part for not listening. But I think that it is a bit harsh to permanently suspend the bloke. Uh, that's just all I'm saying. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of update thought videos. I, I like posting these. Um, I like sort of communicating with you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you lads later.